Hey everyone, Jurabro back with another video. In this video, we're gonna go and take a depth in look with the customer service. Now, service management. Oh, the first thing that you're gonna be noticing is the type of it. It's not gonna be service management. It's gonna be called customer service. Now, when you actually click on the customer service, the very first thing that you're gonna be noticing in here is the change of the icon itself, because this is the brand new product that was actually being announced by Atlassian on Team Anaheim and Team Barcelona. Now, uh, the thing is most, uh, but as you can see from here, it has less options in here, which is okay, not to create some of the clutter, and um, when we actually try to go with the project set, we can actually see that this is indeed customer service management summary and features. And with the features themselves, there's this op to do a forward work, which enables agent to, work, to forward work items to other projects and stay informed about the So you can actually toggle that on. Uh, when it comes to other stuff, we're basically not going to go through it because everything is the same like in the Jira service management project. The attention that we're going to be paying is actually in here, customer experiences. So when you're creating your customer uh, service project, the one of the steps you're gonna be asked, what is going to be name of your customer experience? For example, that could be one of the channels where you're gonna be providing uh, customer experience. For example, this could be, this could be like engineering support, this could be um, drive driveway support. So this is not only for let's say uh, software IT teams, no. This is for all possible teams that you can have there. Healthcare, car industries, uh, metal industries, uh, finance, uh, then ecology. Basically everything that you can think of, you can have a support for it. Now, the great thing, what does it actually come with? So first of all, it comes with the customer service agent. That's right. So there is a difference between a customer service agent and the robo agent as well. You're going to see that later. Also the support website that is definitely different than the JSM website. So let's take a look at it. So we're going to copy this. We're going to copy and paste this. Wow, you see this big change in here. Uh, in the JSM, the portal itself seems uh, simplified. And I know that a lot of people are actually asking to have more options within the portals themselves, rather going around and buy, buying the third party applications that are actually having this. So we're having, uh, having different things in here. For example, you can search for help here. Uh, this in JSM was only available if you're within the help center. If you're within customer portal, you wouldn't see this search bar here. So these, these uh, items here, like the cards, this is showing because you have also the option to uh, integrate Confluence with your customer service project. So you can actually really have uh, some things such as troubleshooting guides, troubleshooting art articles, uh, and things like that. Also, there's this option in here where it says contact us. And when you actually click on the contact us page, I'm actually being led right here. Now, this might be very different for you because you have option to create some of the forms in here. And when you're actually creating the forms, you're adding the fields. Uh, this is, yeah, it's like the, really the ripoff of the uh, Jira service management forms where you can actually, ins uh, no, this is like for the request types where you're in, uh, when you're inserting different fields. 
because within the forums you can uh, the start section the end section you can define uh, radio buttons you can uh, the uh, formatting when a customer clicks on one radio button one um, one response is being generated if they click on the uh, different one then other response is being generated and so on so that is how your um, um, in this, well, help center, this is actually how it really is like. And, and it's really so powerful in here. Of course, when you go to customer experience in here, you can definitely go and say, hey, I want to add the new one. And then you need to link a project and it's saying you only see projects that aren't already linked to a customer experience. So I don't have any projects in here, which is actually okay. Now, that is one of the things in here. So when I click on the customer service, well, I have some things in here that are really interesting. So I can add the team in here if I want. And also I have this project is linked. Basically, I link the project to the project itself, right? I also have some of the forms in here and you can go go ahead so this is right here this is the fault and this is created when customers contact you via the support email the ai agent also uses this form as a default you can only modify the name of this form and as you can see you cannot delete it that's the thing i also have the option to add the forms in here and when you do that this is where you actually get so it's called ask for support and basically when you go for that you're defining and saying okay what kind of issue type is so you can change this and th um, this project comes with three predefined issue types which are question problem and suggestion so you can choose where submit where the, sum the form submissions will be sent and how they will be so what this means mean this means that you can create multiple forms that can actually lead to different projects in here and that they can be linking to different projects so these could also be the jira service management projects which is something that is really powerful in here also, we have the articles in here. When it comes to the articles, when you go to manage, you have option to edit the spaces in here. So the question is, uh, you have, we have two spaces, right? And we have option to, un we can unlink one. That's, uh, that is an option for us. And we can define who can view this and who can edit this. That is the, that is the thing. Um, we also have the option for the branding where we can define the brand logo. We can go with the brand icon and we can go with the brand color. Pretty straightforward. Now, this is even more powerful in here, which is going to be the support website. Now, your support website is always going to be live. What you can actually do is you can change this right here. So it doesn't have to be CS. It could be uh, it could be named something different, right? So you, uh, your users can actually really take a look at it. So this is like the preview, right? So I'm not, as uh, not like any change or something like that. So what is being included? A contact page where customers can access your forms, articles, and pages. So that this is something that we actually went through. Now, the another thing is, of course, you can also have the chat widget, but for the chat widget, what it needs to have is a name, company details, knowledge source, and publish that in the agent settings within the studio itself. So we have some of the pages in here, right? So what actually happens is when I go with one of the pages in here, I, uh, you get the option to edit this. And when you're actually edit this, editing this, let me show you. So you have multiple options to add here. So this is uh, from Confluence where you can actually click on this and you can add elements in here. 
You can add cards, you can add carousels, you can add colored banner, which is something that is interesting. All right, colored banner, and this looks like, and I can say, hello. Uh, if, if I don't want to search, I can just put it in here. I can publish it and boom, basically that is it. All right, so it's really powerful because you can have your own page. Customer experience is not found. All right. What I and since this is actually going for AI customer service agents, right? So it's pointing us there. All right. I do have the confluence. So it should be working, but for some reason it's not being recognizable. So what we're having is the customer AI assistant. Now, if you're asking if you have like multiple a customer ai assistants in here the answer is currently you cannot actually have this and when we go and when we uh change uh, when we actually see this and within the overview itself i already add, added some so you can actually see some of the known things from Rovo itself, right? So for example, conversation starters, there is knowledge, there is actions, but there is also guidance and there is also handoff. And the guidance itself, this is where we're actually creating the logic of your agent. So how your agent is going to look, uh, how your agent is going to behave. And then we also have the option for identity and where you're defining the name, the company, what is the tone that is being or casual, what is the greeting messaging here, and what are the conversations started. And I also have a uh, knowledge source, right? So let me see, customer. No, it's not seeing it here. Okay at least not yet because i created this uh when i was adding when i was adding some extra knowledge if if you say it like, yeah it was created like that and then you also have option for the guidance now when you're actually doing the guidance you have response right within the response itself saying okay responding to general requests trigger Describe when to use the response when the user makes a general a general customer request. And the response is at least putting suggest what agent should respond with. Great. How can I ask? I can say you are asking for general support. How can I? All right. That's one thing. And then we also have the option for the handoff. So this is uh, the uh, description when to use, okay? When the customer asks for the escalation. So for example, and I'm going to say that this is going for the automatic handoff. Why is this? Because if you go and we view the configuration here, we have two options. So based on to uh, send the customer the next steps or to choose a form for the agent to complete for handoff. Now I have this contact, which is the default one, and it's being saved. And by the preview, this is how it looks like. Or you want to send them and enable them that enable this. All right. Of course, there's some actions that can do. So for example, what is the name of the action? What's the, um, what is the description? What is the action type? So the action type for now, we are actually in the uh, retrieve or, so we have two methods, get to post methods. And this is something that is it going to, so in here we can define headers and add some variables and add the query patterns, okay. That sounds interesting. So that is how it actually works from there. I also have the option to add the knowledge source. You also have the option for the reporting. And when you go for the reporting, you ask, uh, for example, 
number of conversations, how much I had, AI containment, I can actually see it in here, what is the resolution and what is the message feedback. Uh, the option to go with it. Now, if you try to pause, you're going to say basically no, because you need to have a knowledge source. So let's go with conf. All right. So from here, well, we have plen plenty of it, but not the one that I'm needing here. So I'm going to um, service solution. Can... No, it's not a. Not a... Um, service collection, where, I don't see it from there, because I made it there, it's, it's weird, it really is, uh, service collection, it's like, uh, confluence, uh, but it's still leading me to this one, no. I would actually need to add the app because this is the site and when I add the app, I work like that. All right. It's supposed to be here. Uh, it's supposed to be part of this organization, apps, sites, service collection. There we go. Access requests and everything else. Now I don't need any of those things, customer service management, and there is of course portal only customers, which is something that I don't I'm uh, getting back to the same thing. Okay, let's do it. I don't know. Confluence site name required add to your enterprise. Okay. Ah, it's here. With we and it doesn't see it in here. All right, that's that's weird because I can actually see it. And from here, when I go to knowledge and when I want to add my knowledge, it's saying, "Well, it's not there," which is not true. Okay. All right, I, I'll leave you guys to that to actually do that. But in general, that is how the product actually works. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and that's it. See ya. Bye.